I'm Claire. I've had my own business for around 10 years, delivering trainings and transformation for organizations and individuals. I'm here to share some of the ways that the work we did together shifted my experience of my work and of my life in general. I had an interest in understanding my ego and where it came from and then how to use it effectively or be so conscious of it that I can use it in the ways that will serve my life rather than just having an unconscious effect on it. Ego has such a negative connotation, right? And I know Mm -hmm. when my stepkids talk about ego, it's always like, oh, they've got such a big ego. So there's layers of what that word even means. But for me, thinking about my ego shifted during the time because I saw that I had a lot more compassion for it. That's one of the first things is just recognizing that having to have a way of coping with the world. (laughs) We need tools and strategies and the ego is just practiced a lot, easy to use. It doesn't make them bad inherently. So I got a different relationship with it. It's just really good to know the difference. Oh, I'm using that tool again. (laughs) Do I want to do something else? Or is that actually the right tool for the job um, that I'm trying to accomplish right now? That's really cool. What was the most powerful thing about knowing your ego inside out most powerful thing it did was actually to feel myself without it to really be able to recognize that true essence of who I am and gave me a method to to access that it's not that I'd never felt true essence myself but having the language around and a map how to access it and what all of those other things are oh they're 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 my ego they're my mechanisms and habitual things that I do the biggest thing probably was just giving me more access to who I actually really am and what I'm here for and be able to recognize when anything that isn't that is showing up how did that change things in your life what did it impact the biggest thing it impacted was the relationship with myself being able to feel myself in that way of knowing for sure, inarguable, that's who I am. Everything else is just stories and words and habits and knowing that very clearly. And being able to do that means that when things are harder, like for whatever reason, challenges come up, that I could just remember that. And it was just like having a source to plug back into. And that was a shift. I knew that conceptually that that was a thing. I'm sure I have done that in the past, but having just a very clear methodology behind it. And for me, that really helps being able to understand it and have an internal map of how to get there, how to access that state of who who I am when things are really challenging on the outside. Yeah, that's really beautiful. How did this impact the way you are dealing with problems in general? Um, Did that give you access to a more effective way? Yes, definitely. Always being able to remember that this is who I am. Underneath everything else, all the different things that came up, challenging work situations, business being very challenged because of the pandemic and so on. Not being able to trust anything on the outside, really. Everything was changing and not being very reliable on the outside. Having access to that, the thing that is reliable, like I know that for sure, my essence is reliable. There isn't anything that can change that. It gave me stability and consistency when everything else wasn't consistent. You're somebody who's done a lot of work and who's curious, a leader and teacher. Who do you think this work would be the most beneficial for? Or who would you like to see do the work? It's really valuable for anyone who's interested in understanding themselves at a a, a deeper level. And that is perhaps a little bit tired of the same things showing up all the time or having an aspect of your personality that isn't always serving you and feels like you're kind of stuck with it. What this work does uh, in that case is just have you really understand that we're not stuck with it and and it's a choice and it's still a choice you can make, but it's not the only way. It's helpful for anyone, but you've got to be willing to do it and have some kind of drive to want something to be different. Some aspect of yourself that you're seeing to shift and that perhaps you haven't been able to do it in other ways. So I think that's probably who it's most useful for and certainly useful for anyone who relies on relationships in their work. (laughs) If relationships are a big part of how you contribute to the world, then knowing how those habitual patterns are showing up in those relationships would certainly serve you in in powerful ways. Definitely, because you have access to 
your part and what you can do to change. Right. You have a few words of wisdom as to what they can expect. One of the first steps is writing a life story and really looking at your life in as much detail as you can. And for me, that wasn't easy. And I didn't think I remembered a lot and I wasn't sure I wanted to really remember. It was in itself a really fascinating and beautiful experience. So I would say go in with an open mind towards the places that you feel you might be resistant, be willing to just keep going and be gentle with yourself and stay with it and know that there's something else on the other side of it, more freedom and giving yourself time and the gift of Maria to help you explore what you're here for. What was your purpose in coming on this trip? It's such a gift. You'll never not have it. It's something that you can just continue to rely on. You'll always have it. So, so worthwhile. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome.